Hello, I am Dr. Girish Nelivigi, urologist and andrologist from Nelivigi Multi Specialty and Urology Hospital in Bangalore. Hello, I am going to talk on cancer of the penis. Luckily, the incidence of cancer of the penis in our society has come down in the last many years because of better hygiene and also reduction of the infections of the penis. However, when cancer of the penis occurs, it is a life-changing diagnosis for the patient. Now, how is cancer of the penis diagnosed? The patient usually will have some ulcers over the penis, especially the tip of the penis, that is the head of the penis or the glands of the penis. There could be occasional bleeding from the ulcers. There could be swelling in the tip of the penis and sometimes there could be difficulty in passing urine. So once the patient goes to the urologist, thorough physical examination is done to see the extent of the disease on the penis and also if there are any swellings or lymph nodes in the groin. The urologist takes a biopsy from the ulcer or the nodule which is nothing but a small piece done under local anesthesia and it is sent for microscopy testing. Once a cancer is diagnosed, the next step is to see what is the stage of the cancer, which means we have to find to what organs it has spread. A cancer of the penis can spread to the neighboring organs, it can go to the groins called lymph node swellings or it can spread via lymphatics and bloodstream to other parts of the body. To know the stage of the cancer, tests like MRI and CT scan or PET scan are done. Depending on the stage of the disease, the cancer is treated. The mainstay of treatment of cancer of the penis is by removal of the nodule or the ulcer, which means a part of the penis will have to be removed. And if the cancer is extensive, the whole of the penis will have to be removed. This is called penectomy. Many times, we remove the lymph nodes in the groins also. This is called inguinal lymphadenectomy. If the cancer has spread to the neighboring organs or to distant organ, we have to add radiotherapy or and chemotherapy to the treatment of the patient. Now, what is the outcome? What happens to a patient with cancer of the penis? Usually, as a thumb rule, stage 1 and stage 2 cancer of the penis are curable. Stage 3 and stage 4 are advanced cancers. Stage 4 is usually not a curable cancer, despite giving chemotherapy. However, early stage penile cancer is treatable and also curable. So the patient will have to keep on examining the penis and keep the hygiene of the penis to avoid infections of the penis so that this cancer is avoided, prevented and it can be detected early. Remember, prevention is better than cure and the best way to prevent cancer of the penis is by retracting the skin of the penis every day while taking bath and cleaning the skin of the penis and also the head of the penis and avoid careless sexual exposure. These two measures that is hygiene and avoidance of sexual exposure can prevent almost all the penile cancers. Thank you.